Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got some dev blogs for you today. We have the dev blog from yesterday and of course a new dev blog from today. They are really just throwing these things out. Um, so we're gonna go over them today. First off here with the create your own mission. This was big news. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this thing. This is gonna be really, really cool. Um, to boil it down here, they're basically going to be giving us modding tools. They're gonna be giving us a, um, a mods editor.bat file um you know it's it's just a mod file um we're going to be able to change the landscape of the maps we're going to be able to change the objects that are in the maps um it says that we're going to be transform we're going to be able to transform it beyond recognition by changing the landscape moving adding and removing any objects that we want to um, we're also going to be able to change key features such as respawn points and capture points and also create missions with unique rules to allow for infinite respawns, limit the number of respawns, or forbid respawns entirely for the same squad more than once. And then, of course, you can set the boundaries of the battlefield too. So, what this means is, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited for this. I think this is going to be really, really cool. Um, I, I mean, I can tell you guys for sure that I'll be messing with this thing, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll come up with some cool game modes you know I, i'd like to do some one life events where you only get like one squad life and then you have to you know um take some objectives uh with just that one life i think doing large like 50 v 50 lone fighters games with just one life would be really really cool we're like maybe we can make it to where you respawn whenever you take an objective but you don't respawn otherwise i think that would be really really interesting and could be a lot of fun to see like which team can actually hold and, and win an objective with just one life um I think that there would be, you know, there, there's definitely opportunities for having these really large game modes. You know, if we can spawn in like, uh, like a lot of Jeeps and stuff like that, maybe even um, some of those big trucks and the buses from Tunisia, that would be really cool if we can have these big maps and basically use those as kind of, um, you know, transports around these larger maps. All these things I think would just be really interesting uh, gameplay mechanics and, and, and ways to spice up Enlisted a little bit. Uh, they'll have this mod portal where you'll be able to upload these onto some sort of website, some some mod forum area. Uh, so that'll be pretty interesting as well. Uh, if you guys are interested in participating in some of these events, like I said, I want to try to do historical battles. I want to try to do, you know, these different, um, you know, cool game modes and one life events. Make sure you guys are in Discord and make sure you guys are following me twitch.tv slash hey You can find the links for those down in the description below. Um, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to uh to participate in that awesome community and those in those game modes and stuff if you are in those two uh awesome communities so make sure you guys are joining up in that but you know we've i've wanted to do these for a long time i've wanted to do cool game modes and cool custom games and stuff like that for a long time but unfortunately right now we do not have any custom game passwords so it's hard to do that when we get these it'll become a lot easier because i won't necessarily need to lock passwords and lock who's able to join because i can just make the game and have the game mode uh set up in that way in the first place so overall i'm really excited for this i think this is gonna be really cool i think uh you know presents a lot of cool opportunities for players to get engaged with the community um you know those of you guys that might want to flex some some you know game design muscles and and you know maybe try your hand at some design stuff this is a great way to get started this is a really cool thing i know for a fact that in the future i would like to run some um some competitions for like you know best maps right you know we have the clip of the week i'd like to do mod of the week see who can come up with the coolest funnest game modes and stuff like that i think that would be a good time as well i think i think we could all have a lot of fun doing stuff like that so there you go guys i'm excited this stuff let's move on to the stuff that i'm a little bit less excited about and that is rocket tanks that's right we're getting rocket tanks um i made a video about how enlisted has a very very big explosive problem i would say from a gameplay standpoint explosives are probably the biggest problem in enlisted and they're adding rocket tanks yeah uh these are going to be premiums the americans are going to be getting the calliope if you guys don't know what the calliope it's basically an m4 sherman with this stupid uh rocket launcher attachment on the top i don't know what they're gonna do with this thing man i truly don't um <laughs> like is this gonna be like war thunder where you get like because like war thunder this isn't really that useful right like uh, i don't know maybe it is maybe maybe it is powerful in war thunder i, I i'm not 100 percent, but like 
I feel like in War Thunder, you're finding vehicles, so it's not overly powerful. But enlisted, can I just send the back of the map and like launch these things in? That's stupid. That is not going to be interesting. These are 114 millimeter rockets, guys. These are just giant rockets that will annihilate infantry. I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. Um, 60 rockets. 60 high explosive rounds. Are you serious, man? Oh, dude. I... Ah, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Truly, uh, the Germans are going to be getting a Panzerwerfer. Um, I do have confirmation, as far as I aware, am aware, from the people who do some data mining and stuff like that. Calliope will have the use of its main gun, so you have the Sherman on top of it. The Panzerwerfer 42 will not have access to its MG42. Apparently, it is just cosmetic. Uh, Germany suffers. There you go. Uh, these will be part of a rocket bundle. You will not be able to buy these with gold. You'll have to buy these with straight money. Uh, and then there will be a Katusha equivalent. It will be a, uh, it'll be in Moscow. It will be on the T-60 light tank. The rocket slapped on the top has 24 rockets of 82 millimeter rockets. So there you go. Uh, Normandy is getting some new levels as well. We're getting the M9 Bazooka at level 37. I guess we're just getting one level each. I'm not sure, but we're getting at level 37, AT Gunner 2 with the M9 Bazooka. And then the Germans are going to be getting the RPZB 43 Offenrohr. Sure, I nailed that pronunciation. You're welcome, German viewers. Um, this is the early Panzer Shrek, as far as I understand, because this is not a Panzer Shrek. It's an early variant of the Panzer Shrek. Uh, again, I don't know why they're not just getting the the panzer shrek whatever uh and then in moscow the germans are going to be getting the t-34 1940 the mighty t-34 one of the most you know I, the most famous version or famous stuff uh, excuse me famous soviet medium tank absolutely insane was a massive headache for the germans historically um arguably carried the soviets to victory and then the germans will be getting the panzer three j1 the long barreled 50 millimeter it will be very very important for the germans because otherwise they're not going to be able to touch the t-34 i don't know how they're going to handle that i don't know how that's going to be handled because i don't know how the germans are going to fight t-34s in anything because i don't think the 75 millimeters can go through the front maybe it can maybe it can go through the cheeks i don't know I don't, i'm not i don't have a degree in uh war thunder i don't have a phd so let me know guys i don't know if the 75 millimeter like short barrel stubbies can can go through the t-34's um cheeks or i don't think you can go through the front but maybe you can go through the cheeks i don't know um anyway guys and then there's going to be a finally a premium squad and an engineer squad four snipers and an engineer this will be gold um it'll have the experimental experimental skt 40 and then a shortened bear shortened version of the abt 40 in sniper version and then the germans will have semi-automatic gewehr 41s with sniper scopes so there you go guys um that is it these are your your double dev updates from me i don't support these rocket tanks i don't think they should be added i think they're a terrible 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 idea um i think if you're going to add stuff like this it should just be tied to the, the the radio operator class that already exists within enlisted because those guys call artillery so why don't we just have those guys call rocket artillery instead of doing this stuff there you go mods are cool thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next time take it easy follow on twitch join discord links below